You could be standing right underneath one and never know it's there. The B-2 bomber is so stealthy, most air defenses don't even know they've been hit until it's too late. In this video, we're going deep into why the B-2 Spirit remains one of the most feared aircraft in the world. From its stealth design to its radar dodging tactics, we're breaking down the secrets that make it nearly impossible to intercept. A ghost in the sky. The B-2 Spirit is the ultimate stealth bomber. Unlike traditional aircraft that rely on speed or altitude to avoid threats, the B-2 is built to be invisible. Its radar cross-section is so small that enemy radars often mistake it for a bird or don't see it at all. This isn't just hype. When flying at high altitudes, the B-2's signature on radar is roughly the size of a large insect. How is that possible? The answer lies in its design. The B-2 doesn't have a tail. It's a flying wing, meaning the entire aircraft is one smooth, continuous shape. No vertical stabilizers, no protruding parts. Everything is built to reflect radar waves away from the radar receiver. Even the materials used to build the B-2 are designed to absorb radar. These radar-absorbent materials, RAM, soak up electromagnetic waves instead of bouncing them back. Combine that with special coatings that scatter radio waves, and the B-2 becomes a phantom in the sky. The design also minimizes heat. Jet engines normally give off a huge infrared signature that missiles can track. But the B-2's engines are buried deep inside the fuselage, with specially designed exhaust vents that cool the gases before they leave the aircraft. This makes it incredibly difficult for heat-seeking missiles to lock on. In every measurable way, the B-2 was built to disappear. Designed to defeat air defenses, one of the B-2's main roles is to break open the door for other aircraft. In a full-scale conflict, it's the B-2 that would likely strike first targeting enemy radar stations, missile sites, and command centers. To do this, it must defeat the most advanced air defenses in the world, and it does. Modern Integrated Air Defense Systems, IADS, rely on layers of detection. Ground radar, air radar, infrared tracking, and satellites. The B-2 is engineered to slip through all of them. It flies at subsonic speeds, usually around 628 miles per hour, and at altitudes up to 50,000 feet. But speed and height are not what keep it safe. It's the path it takes. The B-2 uses advanced mission planning systems that calculate exact routes to avoid radar detection. These routes exploit blind spots in radar coverage, terrain like mountains, valleys, and even weather systems. What makes the B-2 even more terrifying is that it's not flying blind. On board, the bomber is equipped with the Defensive Management System, DMS. This high-tech system constantly scans the environment for radar signals and threats. If an enemy turns on their radar, the B-2 knows instantly and can change course or tactics. It can even tell what type of radar it is, early warning, tracking, or fire control. That allows the B-2 to identify which areas are safe and which are hot zones. And when things do get dangerous, the B-2 can switch to radio silence, flying dark with no emissions, no radio, no radar, no data links. It becomes electronically invisible. This strategy, known as passive stealth, is devastatingly effective. Enemy radars can't see it. And because it's not emitting anything, electronic warfare systems can't detect or jam it either. It's not just hard to intercept, it's hard to even know it's there. Nuclear and precision strike capabilities. The B-2 isn't just stealthy, it's powerful. It can carry both nuclear and conventional weapons, making it one of the most versatile aircraft in the U.S. arsenal. Inside its massive bomb bays, the B-2 can hold up to 40,000 pounds of ordnance. That includes nuclear bombs like the B-61 and B-83, as well as conventional munitions like JDAMs, Joint Direct Attack Munitions. These are precision-guided bombs that can strike within 10 feet of their target, even from high altitudes. The ability to carry both types of weapons gives the B-2 enormous flexibility. In a nuclear war scenario, it could strike hardened missile silos or underground bunkers. In a conventional war, it could destroy bridges, radar sites, fuel depots, or heavily fortified positions. 
all without being seen. The B-2 is also equipped to carry the Massive Ordnance Penetrator, MOP, a 30,000-pound bunker-busting bomb designed to destroy deeply buried nuclear facilities. This makes it a key part of America's plan to defeat hardened underground targets that can't be hit by missiles alone. The scary part? The B-2 can do all of this without air support. It doesn't need fighter escorts. It doesn't need a swarm of jammers or a fleet of decoys. It flies in alone, hits the target, and disappears into the night sky. And because it can refuel in midair, it can reach any target on Earth from U.S. bases without ever landing. This global reach combined with stealth and precision firepower makes it incredibly difficult for enemy defenses to prepare for or stop a B-2 strike. Why missiles struggle to track it? Most air defense systems are built to detect and destroy conventional aircraft. Fighter jets and bombers have predictable flight paths, big radar signatures, and clear engine heat trails. The B-2 breaks every rule. The first problem for enemy missiles is detection. Most missiles rely on radar-guided systems to lock on. But the B-2's radar cross-section is so small, the radar can't get a reliable lock. Even if it can see something, it doesn't know what it is. A false signal. A glitch. By the time the operator realizes it's real, the B-2 has dropped its payload and is gone. Next, there's the issue of speed and trajectory. Unlike cruise missiles or drones, the B-2 is a piloted aircraft that can change course. And because it's flying with complete awareness of radar coverage, it can time its movements to avoid detection altogether. Even if a surface-to-air missile is launched, the B-2 has a few tricks. Its shape and ram coating make it hard to track in flight, its internal systems detect the launch and calculate evasive maneuvers in real time. And remember, the B-2 doesn't carry its weapons externally. That means no missile pylons, no hardpoints, nothing for radar to reflect off of. Infrared-guided missiles struggle too. The exhaust from the B-2 is cooled and diffused before it leaves the aircraft. This drastically reduces the heat signature, making infrared tracking unreliable, especially from long range. In tests, even advanced Russian and Chinese radar systems have failed to reliably track a B-2 in simulated conflict zones. That's a testament to just how far ahead the B-2 is, even though it was designed back in the 1980s. Air defense is a cat and mouse game. The B-2 isn't the mouse, it's the ghost the cat can never catch. Real missions, real results. The B-2 isn't just a theoretical marvel, it has been battle-tested, and it works. Its first combat mission was in 1999 during NATO operations in Kosovo. The B-2 flew from Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri, dropped precision bombs on Serbian targets, and returned home, flying over 30 hours without stopping. Enemy radar never saw it. During the Iraq War in 2003, the B-2 played a key role in the opening wave of shock and awe. It hit high-value targets in Baghdad within the first hours of the campaign, striking with pinpoint accuracy. Again, no B-2 was ever shot down or even seriously threatened. In Afghanistan, it was used to eliminate Taliban command centers in remote mountains. In Libya in 2011, B-2s flew missions to destroy air defense systems within the first night, allowing other aircraft to operate safely. Each time, the B-2 performed flawlessly. Stealth, precision, no casualties, no detection. In a world filled with satellite tracking, radar networks, and modern air defenses, the B-2 remains undefeated. No other bomber in history has flown so deep into enemy territory with so little risk. And it's not just about what the B-2 can do, it's about what it prevents. Its mere presence in the U.S. fleet is a deterrent. Adversaries know that if a conflict begins, they could be struck at any time, without warning from halfway around the world. It's a quiet but powerful message. You won't even see it coming. The future of stealth. Even as the B-2 nears 40 years in service, it's still unmatched, but it won't be alone forever. The U.S. Air Force is already working on the B-21 Raider, a next-generation stealth bomber. But even the B-21 builds on the B-2's legacy. Much of its design, tactics, and technologies are evolutions of what the B-2 pioneered. Until the B-21 is fully deployed, the B-2 remains America's most strategic bomber. Its mission hasn't changed. Penetrate deep, avoid detection, 
and deliver precision strikes anywhere in the world. And no other country, not Russia, not China, has anything that comes close. Air defense systems keep evolving, but so does the B-2. With regular upgrades to its radar, electronics, and stealth coding, it continues to stay one step ahead. For now, it remains the ultimate nightmare for air defense commanders, a silent predator that no one sees coming until it's already too late. So why is the B-2 so difficult to intercept? Because it was never meant to be seen in the first place.